There we are. Okay. Now, today, what are we uh, going to be working on today? Um, I'm going to open a file, okay, that is on unit D, okay, and normally I use a file because um, it's a it's one page file, okay, we are going to work, uh, work with that, we are going to apply uh, different sections, okay, and normally do this at the beginning because then uh, pretty much at the end you guys are going to be working on that particular file on your own, okay, that's very easy to do, okay, now, I'm going to right click into my file explorer, okay, and from here we are going to open the PowerPoint student files, okay, so you guys are going to follow me, right click into the file explorer, open power, I'm sorry, PowerPoint, ah, God. not PowerPoint, uh, Word, oh, let go, okay. yeah, let me go ahead and remove this, uh, yeah. Oh, yes. okay, yeah. I was like going, okay, yeah. why are we going? <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I unpinned I'm that like, one, okay? I'm like, why are we going in? <laughs> I'm sorry. There you go, Word 2013. Okay, so we have mail merge and we finish with Word Unit D. Let's go ahead and open Unit D. Okay, and after we open Unit D, you guys are going to open up WDD7. If you guys downloaded these files, you guys are going to be getting this yellow bar, protected view. Okay? You guys get that yellow bar, click on enable editing. And there we are. Okay, Jackie, you're good? Yes. Yeah? Okay. Perfect. Now. Remember that we are going to be making a copy, right? So how, how we make a copy of this file? Mm -hmm. We are going to be using say, I mean file, save as. It's going to be going under the computer. And then we are going to be looking for what folder? There it is. The word, word. Uh -huh. 2013 10 a.m. 10 a.m. folder. Uh -huh. uh, Jackie, you probably have a 6 p.m. folder. So you then I have. You can use that folder. Yes. That's fine. Okay. Okay. So we click, and dialog box is going to open up, asking you, okay, um, what's going to be the file name? Okay. Um, okay. I'm going to rename this garden. newsletter, okay? And I'm going to be including to this date. And then we're going to click on save. Okay? Some of you guys are going to be getting this little window. Okay, remember that these files were created with different version of Microsoft Office Word. Okay. Um, I'm just going to click on OK. It's just going to be saved with a new format, which is totally fine. <clears throat> okay. And here we are. If we look into the title bar, there's the new name. Okay. And I'm going to ask you to zoom out, okay, just use the minus and zoom out so that we can see the whole picture, okay, or you guys are going to say that we had two pages, okay. Now, this is what we are going to be doing. Um, a lot of times when you guys work on Microsoft Office Word, see, you guys are probably going to say, okay, starting from here, okay. I want to make this, uh, from this point forward, I want to make this as a two columns, okay? And the very first one, we are going to keep it as just one column up here. Because we can cut this, right? This is the title, so we can cut it into two columns because it's not going to look too good, okay? Now, in Microsoft Office Word, that's when we are going to be using the page breaks, okay? Dividing the documents into different sections. 
If you guys look into your status bar, you guys are going to see the section, section one. Every time that we start a new document, it's always going to be only one section. Okay? Now, let me go ahead and delete those drawings for now. Okay? And I'm going to go ahead and zoom back to 100%. Okay? Now, right now, um, the whole document is one section only, okay? If you guys want to apply a different, I mean, like I said, two columns, that option is going to be under the page layout. Let's go ahead and click on page layout. And then under the page setup, you guys are going to see columns. Okay? Now let's go ahead and click on two. If you guys click on two columns that you guys can see, see the whole, including the, t uh, the title is being included, okay? It's being changed into two columns, okay? Are you guys with me? Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah? Okay, perfect. Yes. So that's why we are going to need to, see, break this document into different sections, okay? So let's go ahead and click on undo, or best friend undo, to go back to the previous setting. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, Gardner's Corner, putting perennial garden to bed by your name, that's going to stay on the further, first uh, section, okay? So let's go ahead and click at the beginning of the first paragraph, just to place insertion point. And from here, that's where we are going to apply the break, okay? The break is going to be under the page layout. So we have columns and then we have breaks. You guys are probably going to see the text. Some of you guys may not see breaks. But you guys are going to see the little icon. If we click into that, we have different page breaks. Okay, so we have a really? page break. Great. Yeah, uh, and it, um, right next to orientation, we, you have the margins. Then oh, you're really? going to have, uh -huh. oh. you're probably not going to see the text, but if you place your insert, I mean your pointer, the little screen tip is going to pop up. Telling you, okay, that's the break, insert page and section breaks. Okay, so that's where we are going to click. As you guys can see, we have different options here. Okay, we have a page break and a small explanation of what is uh, what is going to do if we apply that setting. Okay, now in this case, we want to use a continuous section break because we're only going to divide the document, but we don't want to move the text. Okay. So let's go ahead and click on continuous. You guys are not going to see that anything happen. Okay. But let's go back to home and turn on your show and hide. Okay. So you guys are going to see this double dotted line like going across. In the middle, it's going to say section break continuous, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, the only way for us to see the section breaks is going to be by turning on the show and hide, okay? Now let's go ahead and use the undo, just to remove the section break. We still have, okay, the show and hide, but we don't have that section break, okay? Now let's go ahead and click on redo, just to bring it back. Now. If you guys click up here into the title, look into your section. It says section one. If you guys click anywhere below the section break, the place insertion point, you guys are going to see that you said we, we are into section two. Okay? Now that we, uh, that we break this document into two sections, make sure that you guys are, it doesn't matter where the insertion point is into the second page, I mean second section. Okay? Now let's go back to page layout and Let's go ahead and apply two, two columns. Okay, so now we have one column on the first section, two columns in the second section. Okay, so it's very important, okay, you guys are going to be doing this anytime that you guys want to apply different columns, okay. And we don't have only two. There's three, there's left, there's right, and even more. Okay? So we can manually apply different 
size of columns, etc. But right now we're only going to be going with two columns. Now let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and zoom out. If you guys look into the second page, we have some text. Okay, how can we fix that and bring that into the first page? Well, it's going to be the easiest way. Change the margin. Mm -hmm. Correct. Let's go ahead and check the margins, okay? So under the page layout, you guys are going to have your margins. Okay. And normal is going to be highlighted because that's what we have. One inch per every sign. Okay. How about if we try this one, moderate? Moderate is going to cut the left margin and the right margin by a quarter of an inch. And let's see if it works. Okay, so that fixes, right? But it looks like we're going to be pretty close, okay? Very close to at the bottom. So let's go ahead and apply another setting, okay? Back to margins. Do you guys have the last custom, 0.7? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Let's go ahead and apply that one, okay? And Jackie, you're probably not going to have this one. 0 0.7. Okay. Okay, so you're going to go down Is that to, the moderate? No, you're going to go down to custom margins. Okay, okay, we have it there because we used it last week. So whatever margin we use in the past, mm -hmm. Word is going to save in there for, okay, for easy access. Now, when you click into okay. custom margins, you're going to be right here. So we have the top, bottom. Okay. So mm -hmm. let's go ahead and this is what we're going to do. We are going to make sure that the number one is selected and we are going to type in 0 0.75. And basically we're going to be doing that on every, on every sign. Mm -hmm. 0 0.75. Okay. Okay. Now, remember that last week we just went into the margins and we apply it and then we click on OK. When you guys apply, okay, and you guys break your document into different sections, look down here because now it says apply to this section and I have a preview. So if I click on OK, it's just going to apply it into my second section. Okay? So let's go ahead and make sure that we click into the drop down arrow and select whole document. Okay, so when you guys are working on uh, with sections and you guys apply a different setting, make sure that it's going to be applied to the whole document, not only the second section. Okay, and then let's click on OK. Is that what we have, every, pretty much everybody? Yes. Yeah? <clears throat> mm -hmm. Okay, Yaki, Mary, Susan, Annie. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now we're going to have a lot of uh, some extra space here, right? No. A little bit. Okay. Uh, not as much as you, but yeah, yeah, not as much as you. Okay. Yeah. Let's go ahead and check uh, your margins. You guys uh, use 0 0.75, right, on every side? 0 0.75. 0.7. You put 0.7 is what we put. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to need you guys to go back to the custom margins and apply 0 0.75, please. And make sure that you guys are going to be applying this to whole document. So we're all on the same page. 0 0.75, yeah, just 0 0.75. Oh, on all three, right? On all three little windows? Uh, on all four. Not the not hold the gutter? Uh, hold on. No, gutter, we are not going to be okay. using the gutter right now. Mm -mm. Hold on. Yeah, it's just going to be on the top so margin, some... bottom, oh, not... okay. left, and right. Okay. 
0.75. Remember that? Uh huh. That's gonna be highlighted. No. All we do is just type in 0. 0.75. We jump into the next one. Mm -hmm. We jump into the second one and we apply 0. 0.75. Select then select the number on left and type in 0. 0.75. When you guys click into the next one, mm -hmm, the 0. 0.75 is gonna be applied. Okay, anytime that we change the numbers here, we don't need to apply the, um, the inches, okay? We just type in the number and make sure that you guys select, okay, yeah, under you. apply, hold on, come in. Yes, honey? Mine still doesn't look like yours. Really? Mr. Martinez, I can't, on my page set up, Mr. Martinez, um, it's, I can't get to the bottom where it says okay. It's not showing on my screen. Okay. Already, perfect. Now, the reason that why I want to break this document also like this is because I also want to use another section break here on add compounds. Okay? Like in this case, we probably want to move that. See, uh, this heading, add compounds, see, we probably want to move it at the beginning of the second column. Okay? So that way we have a, a little bit of extra space. Now, I'm just going to click at the beginning of Add Compose, okay, so make sure that we do that, and then using the breaks again, now we're going to be using, under Page Breaks, we're going to be using Column, just Column, okay, indicate that the text following the column break will begin in the next column, okay, let's go ahead and click into that. And now our document is going to be, you know, pretty much given. You guys are going to see that we have the other column break because we have the shown height on. Okay? Mm -hmm. uh, just one more thing, okay? Um, you guys probably already know. If we have the shown height on, if we print this document, those... Okay, those, uh, those shown height um, icons are not going to uh, print. Okay? Those enter the spaces, the column breaks, the section breaks, they're not going to print, okay? If so, we leave them on, if we if forget to turn them on, they won't print. No, they won't print. They will never print. Because mm -hmm. sometimes we think, okay. if you guys go to the okay. print preview, you guys are going to see that, uh -huh. Okay? There we go. Okay. So they won't print, okay? So let's see what we have, okay? And make sure that we haven't click on save. Have you guys? I just did. Okay. <coughs> okay, and uh, let's go ahead and remove the Sean High for now, just to see our document. Okay, so there we have there we are. Okay. Now let's say that from here. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and apply just to five, okay, to the second section. Because we have two columns, then we're probably going to have a little bit of hard time selecting, see, everything on the second, okay, the two columns. Now remember, now we could use click at the beginning, hold and shift, and click at the, at the end of the second column. Okay, this is where those uh, options are going to become handy. Click at the beginning. Hold and shift before you click at the end of the second column. We click and both columns are going to be selected, okay? And then from there we could just go ahead and apply the justify. No, that's not going to work. Okay. Yeah, Annie, you click at the beginning to place insertion point. Bring your pointer to the end of the second column. Before you click into that, you are going to be holding down shift on the keyboard and you click. When we have more than one column, yeah, at the very end of the text. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. There you go. And then we could go ahead and apply any settings that we want, okay? In this case, we apply the justify.
Okay? Now you guys are going to be selecting by your name. And you guys are going to replace that with your first and last. Not too bad, is it? Hmm? Yeah, what's going on? Talk to me. It's very good. <laughs> Everything's good. <laughs> Just remembering all this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> it is. You're trying to do it and write it at the same time. <laughs> well, that's why it's going to be recorded, right? So we can go back. Now, um, this is very common, okay, for you guys also to see, okay, um, on a lot of newsletter or, or, or books, the very first letter, see a lot of times, is bigger than the rest of the text, okay? If we just click mm -hmm. at the beginning of the first paragraph, okay, and you guys look under insert, and then text, you guys are going to see the drop cap. Okay, if we click on drop cap, we have none, we already pre-selected, and then we have drop. Okay, the good thing is that we also have the live preview. Okay, and then we have in margin. In margin is not going to work because that particularly is going to go into your margins, okay? But in this case, I'm going to be using drop. Okay, by default, it's going to drop the, that letter by three lines of text. Okay, one click, and there we are. Okay, now, why is certain underline? Yeah, because, because he's not uh, uh -huh. correct, mm -hmm. we're just looking at this, not as a one well, single uh, word. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, we go with just, uh, uh -huh. see, if we right click, it's just going to suggest that should be capitalized. Okay, which we are not going to do. Just ignore that. Okay, now what else we're going to do? Very good, Emma. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, why in the world is going on? I took a smart pill this morning. <laughs> good news. Yeah. Can, I, can I have one? Can you say yeah. that? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Okay, perfect. Now, let's uh, uh, let's go ahead and work with this subheading. Okay, clean up. I'm just gonna highlight it. Okay. Remember that I normally suggest that we highlight from the left margin. One click, and it's gonna highlight that particular line of text. Okay. Now, right here is gonna um, let's go ahead and start applying some colors. Okay. What color do you guys wanna use? Okay, I'm going to go back to home, we have, okay, the different attributes, okay, to apply, we have the different colors for the text, okay, and I'm just going to go ahead and use the dark, yeah, dark red. Let's say that we want to apply an underline going across here from, you know, right below the cleanup and going like just in, into that column. Okay, the borders are right here. We have the borders on the paragraph. There's the borders. We click. We're just going to apply the bottom border. Okay, now that we use the bottom border, is applying, see, the one that is already by default, which is a single very tiny border, and it's in black. 
And let's say that we want to apply the same color that we're using today, font. Okay? So we come back to the same tool. And this time we're going to go to the very last option, which is words and shooting. If we open that up, see, we used this last week. Right? Uh -huh. Okay, all we're going to do, be doing here is just selecting a different color. Okay, so we have color automatic. We're clicking to the drop down arrow, and I'm going to be going with the same color. Now, you guys are going to see that the color is being displayed. Here's the width, but it's not being applied under your preview window. Okay? So you guys are going to need to click right here into this little line or click right here into this little box. Okay? It's going to remove it. And then when we click again, it's going to apply your bottom border with the color that we want. Okay? And in this case, it's just going to say paragraph. Okay? Apply to paragraph. And we click on OK. So there's your bottom border. Okay? Okay, now, from here, okay, we want to save time, okay, so I'm going to be using the Format Painter. Remember, Format Painter is just going to copy the format that is applied to whatever we have highlighted, and then we can apply it to other subheadings, okay? So we have Plant Perennials, we have Add Compose, we have Winter Mulch, okay? So we are going to be applying the same format. Okay, so I'm going to be using the Format Painter multiple times. I'm going to double click into Format Painter, bring my pointer into Plants Perennial, and again, from the left margin, one click, and it's going to apply that. Okay, when I go into the second column, that's going to be a little more difficult, but I could just left click at the beginning of Add, left click, hold it, and drag it over. Okay, or just go before to the left when you see the little arrow, click, and it's going to apply the same format. Okay? Once I'm done, I click into the Format Painter again, and there. Okay? We're going to be saving some time using the Format Painter. Okay, so right now, um, I want to see the whole page, okay? So I'm going to click into my number percent Remember, this window is going to open, okay? So, I'm just going to be using, um, which one? Let's see. I'm going to try 75% and click on OK. It's not going to display the whole page, so I'm going to go back again. And this time, I'm going to be using whole page, okay? Just click on whole page and then OK. And then we can see our document. Okay. So, mm -hmm. Just a couple of clicks, right? Just making the difference. And remember, you guys are going to be using that a lot. Okay? Just to see mm -hmm. the whole picture. Yeah. From there we could say, okay, I want to add maybe another picture or maybe some more text, etc., etc. Okay? Hmm. Yes? Now let's go ahead and work with putting a perennial garden to bed. Anytime that we have a text selected, okay, if you guys go back to insert, you guys are going to remember this, okay, we have the word art. A lot of times we are going to be using the word art, why? To make it stand out more. Correct. If that didn't work. And we can always go back. Okay, now we have the new tool, Format. We have the Quick Styles. And I could just go ahead and select a different one. Okay, if it doesn't go with your document, that's okay, because right now we're going to be changing those colors, okay? It's going to go with this one, okay? Row 1, Column 3. Fill Red Accent 2, Outline. No, it's not going to make number lines of, uh, as a two, two lines of text. That's okay. 
going to fix that in a second. Yes. No, I, I wasn't able to find my quick styles, but I found it. Okay. Yeah, I'm not able to find my quick styles. It's under insert. Mm -hmm. And then you guys are going to be looking yeah. for text. Right here we're going to have the text box, quick parts. Where are See, we don't have that, um, Susan. Uh -huh. Look where the, the red is. I mean, you know, the, for the color, the font color. It'll, you'll see a letter that has just outline, and that's our text. That's our text. Well, I, 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 I have text box right now. Choose a text box? No. Uh-uh. No. no. Uh, where are Word Any, art. Okay, hold on. Anytime that we already have some text uh -huh, into the document, we could highlight them and then change the format using the word art. Yeah, see, I, we don't have this word art on, on the ribbon. It's only marked by that one letter that only has um, the highlight. A, the, a capital A? No, uh, uh, no, not even. See, I don't have format on the top of mine, but I okay. found the word art. I found the word art. Okay. Look, this is what I had, right? Mm -hmm. Now, I want to make that stand up, okay? So, if I click on their insert, yep. okay, I'm going to be looking now for the text group. Mm -hmm. Okay, once I click into text group, we have text box, quick parts, mm -hmm. where are. And mm -hmm. then from here, I'm going to go ahead and go with the, mm -hmm, column three, row one, row one, column three. Well, ours is a little different, but I found it. But in that same, you know, area, I found it. But I think ours is a little different. Because I'm looking at your screen and mine, and it's just a very little difference. Okay. Anyway, I got it. Mm -hmm. You got it, Emma? Yes. Yeah? Okay. Now... If you guys notice, okay, once we apply this, this is going to be like a text box, okay? So yeah. I'm, just gonna, I'm not going to be able to select from the outside. I'm going to have to click inside into the text box and then highlight my text, okay? Or we could also click into the boundaries. It's going to make it highlighted, okay? Now, if I check under the size, there's 36 points. I want to have this uh, on one straight line. So I'm just going to be using shrink. One click. And there we are. And now we are going to be running into trouble. Right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and do the following. Okay? Let's go ahead and click on undo. Let's go ahead and check the layout options. Uh, you know, I'm still one step behind because I don't have my putting on a perennial garden in that box. Okay. Okay. Yes? Yes. Okay. Let's just go ahead and select that. Okay. Uh, we're going to be using just the cities that we have under the font group. Okay? Now, what color do you guys want to use here? Green. Green? Yeah. Garden. Okay. And that's what I found. Okay. We use this green. Hmm. Okay. Do we have the text effects? I've got a hint, sir. Okay, no, that's fine. We are not going to find it there, okay? We are going to find it under home, and then if we open the text launcher, that's where we have two categories, okay? Font and advanced. There's a font. Here's the text effects. I'm just looking for a little bit of um, 
reflection. Okay? So again, we have two categories, okay? Text film outline and text effects. And that's where we are going to see the reflection. Okay, you guys with me? Yes. Yes. And the presets, I'm, I'm just going to be going with the very first one, okay? Very first one under presets, the very first one. And then okay. And okay. Under what? The first one under reflection? Yeah. The very first one under reflection variations, yes. Okay. Yes. I don't see any Is reflection on mine. I don't see any reflection. I must have missed something. Okay, let's go ahead and highlight them again. Here's your text launcher. Text effects. Reflection presets. There you go. And then okay and okay. Oh okay. Oh I didn't do the okay on the second box. That's why. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mr. Martini. Uh -huh. Okay, now I'm going to do the, pretty much the same thing on Garner's Corner, okay? But in this case, I'm just going to be going with, um, let's see, dark red. And under the text effects, you guys are going to have... Just gonna be using some shadow on that one, okay? So just some shadow. Here's the text effects. Outline, shadow. So on that one I just use, use some shadow, okay? Normally when I use these options I go with the very first one. As you guys remember. Okay, you going to down. Text effect, you go no. to text. No, 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 honey. Uh, back to home. On their home, you're going to have this little guy, see, the text effects. Okay. And here's the shadow. As you can see, it says no shadows already pre-selected, so we are going to be going with the very first one. Okay. My green here, I'm putting a perennial. I'm just going to make that a little bit stronger, okay? Just a little bit stronger. There we are. Okay. What about your name? Somebody said before that the double underline, okay? The double underline, if you guys bring your pointer to under... Um, to the underline. If you just click into the U, it's just going to be applying the single underline, okay? Mm -hmm. But if we click into the drop down arrow, we have two lines, we have a stronger line, okay? Like dotted lines, etc., etc., okay? We could even change the color, okay? But I'm just going to be going with the very first one, just on by your name. Let's say that you guys, are you guys with me? Yes? Yes. yes. Okay. Let's yes. say that we want to change the color to the drop cap that we use here. Okay? If you guys bring the pointer and click once, it's not going to select it, okay? So we're going to need to double click into the A, and the A is going to be highlighted. Once we do that, then I'm going to go ahead and change color to that one. Okay? Just to green. Did 
just the green or dark green? Dark green. Mm -hmm. And now you guys are going to bring a picture. Okay, remember that bringing pictures into a world, okay, that we need to change mm -hmm. the outline, okay? Now, this is what I, um, let's say that the picture is just going to be going right here in the middle of the two columns, okay? So, that's where I'm going to be clicking, okay? That's where I'm going to click, you know, somewhere, okay, at the end of the second paragraph at the end of plants, okay, because that's my idea that the picture is just going to be going somewhere there, okay? So that's the first thing that, that I do, and then if we go back to insert, you guys already know that we have the online pictures, okay? We're going to be using office.com, clip art. Okay, and perennial, getting brown. Too many options. I'm gonna try flowers. The mailman's here. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. Let me mute myself. Okay, perfect. I think this one's just gonna work fine. Okay. I want to look for something that is going to go with the colors that I choose on my document, okay? So I think this one's just going to work fine, okay? Keyword was flowers, okay? And then I'm going to see this one. One click to select. Here's the size. So it's going to be kind of big, okay? 18, 819 by 1024. And then click on insert. Okay, now, everybody has a picture? Yes. Yes. How are we going to be moving the picture into the mm -hmm. middle of the text? Remember, um, by default, the picture is always going to be used in line, line with text. That's why it's creating the space, okay? So we have this little guy here, layout, okay? And I'm going to try tie for now, okay? Just tie. And then you guys will be able to drag your picture into place. That's pretty much what I wanted. Remember, don't panic. This is very normal to happen with work, right? When we work with pictures. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so I have the picture pretty much when, where I want it to be. Okay, we apply the setting so we could drag the picture tight. Okay, now we have the new tools format for pictures under quick styles. You're gonna be applying one of these. There you go. The soft edge oval is just gonna work. This is going to bring the text back into my document. Mm -hmm. Quick styles. And I use the soft H oval. And that's going to bring my text back into place. Mm -hmm, yes. Door burned down, then. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so there we have the borders, okay? So, design, page borders, okay? This time we use some of the arts, okay? Uh, just remember, okay? We could, and some of them we could change the color, and some of them we could change the size, okay? And then it's going to apply, be applied to the whole document. What, uh, on custom borders? Is that where you insert your own um, or No. 
No, um, mm -hmm. these are art. Uh, I mean, this is already built into Microsoft Office Word mm -hmm, under art. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. We click into this little drop down arrow, mm -hmm, and there we have. No, but what I mean, if you if you were to go into custom on the left. Um, oh. Well, yeah. Yeah. That. What's that? You could apply different settings. Pretty much um, from styles, colors, width, uh, different art. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. But that you can't bring your own picture in there. If you can't insert your own border picture, if you had one. No. Okay. You know, in this case, no. No fishes. I no fishes. I was looking for. It. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was like, this would be cooler to make uh, flyers for a business if it right. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so pretty much there's our document, okay? Um, not so bad, right? right. Nope. Simply marvelous, simply marvelous. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, it's 11.28. Do you guys want to go to break? And then we continue. Yeah. There's a couple of things, start things I want to go over here, okay? Already? Right no. Yeah. Okay. Let me see, where's my clock? Okay. Uh -huh. uh, there you go. Okay, 12 minutes. And we'll come back okay. again. Uh -huh. uh, Jackie? Thank you. Jackie? Yes. Uh -huh. How you doing? Pretty good. Okay. <laughs> you do okay. things a little differently, but I'm learning. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, just like I said before, see, there's no step one, two, three, four, five, okay? Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. And, um, yeah, but normally that's how we work on, on this session, okay? Um, I like to do a lot of different exercises because I believe that's the best way to learn, okay? Yes. So, uh -huh, we're going to be taking, right. um, uh -huh, we take the break around 11.30, and it's always going to be 12 minutes, okay? That's why we, mm -hmm, it's okay. always been 12 minutes, okay? okay? And then we'll continue when we come back, okay? All right, thank you. Okay, thank you.
Okay.
Okay, now that we're back, okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom into my document here, okay. I'm just gonna zoom in into the lower portion, okay. Now, there's a little space right here, okay. Now, uh, there's another feature, okay, that we have under the page layout and then the breaks, okay. A lot of times it's, that's going to help us to try to even, okay, the two columns, okay. So how about we try that, okay. So anytime that we want to try to even, okay, two or more columns, we place the insertion point into the last column, okay, into the last column. And then we check under the page layout, we have this little icon for insert page and section breaks. Okay, and we are going to be using again continuous. Let's see if it's going to help us, okay? Did it work? Mm -hmm. Gives a second page. Okay. You didn't okay. give me a second page. Okay. I That's gave fine. me a second page. Yeah, the space that we have is. Mm -hmm. uh, let's come back to home and turn on your show and hide. Okay. Once we turn it's like I got a period on my second page. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so basically, there's, yeah, it didn't work, okay, in this case. Okay. Now, we have the little space right there. So let's go ahead and include something else here, okay? We could cover that, either, either type in some extra text or bring in another picture. Okay, let's go ahead and bring another picture. But first of all, let's go ahead and remove that section break. Okay. Um, Sometimes it's going to be a little hard to highlight them, okay? If you guys double click into the section break, it's not going to highlight, it's going to open the page setup, okay? I'm going to close that. So, um, to highlight them, pretty much we left click, hold it, and drag it over. Now, that step is going to be a little bit hard, okay? So, let's go ahead and use undo just to remove the section break that we applied. Okay? Make sure that we click on the save. Mm -hmm. What? Do I have to do that too? If you didn't apply the section, uh, the break, no, that's fine. Okay. Now it all depends on how much space we have here. Okay. Here's my other paragraph mark, so I'm just gonna click here, and this is where I'm gonna be including another a small picture. Okay. Now, if we come back to Insert online pictures. Okay, this time the keyword is just going to be garden. Okay, uh, here's a nice picture that I think is just going to work fine, okay? Now, if you guys look in the sizes, that's 600 by 395. It's going to be kind of big, but that's okay. We're going to Hang on, Ms. Martinez, mm -hmm. find it. Like multiple different uh, there it is. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then okay, we click on insert. I can say, okay, uh, it's gonna be a little big. Okay, bring your pointer into the lower right corner, okay? Lower right corner. And from there, we are gonna go ahead and resize that, you know, about probably half of the size that it was right now. 
okay? And then we need to apply the other setting that is going to allow us to move the picture, right? In this case, I'm not getting the little, uh, see the layout options here, okay? You guys are probably getting that the option. I'm not getting it, so I'm going to go under format, okay? And then if I click on the range, Before you go on, so I don't get lost, when I clicked in the picture, it went to two pages for me. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Um, we'll go ahead and resize the picture, make it a little smaller. And then we are going to be changing, uh, changing the layout of the wrap text. Mm -hmm. Okay. So right now, well, when I clicked on my picture, I got, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, when I clicked on my picture, I got the little icon to uh, the layout option. Oh, okay, yeah. In my case, it's not giving me that. Okay, well. Oh, there it is. Uh -huh. Yeah, but uh, another way, because sometimes it's not going to show. If it doesn't show, you guys are going to be going under a range. And right here, you guys are going to see wrap text. Basically, it does the same options for the layout, okay? So again, I'm gonna be using type. Normally, that's the first one that I try, type. Okay, and then I could move the picture. Mm -hmm. This is gonna become like a uh, flying object, okay? And then I could, I'm just gonna go ahead and stretch this and place it somewhere right here, okay? Resize it a little bit, just to cover that space right here. And then save. Okay, so if you guys don't see the layout here, sometimes it's not going to show. Okay, remember that we have that under format, a range, and here's a wrap text, which is basically is the layout for pictures. Okay, and here's the type. When supplying type, I will be able to drag my picture see anywhere. Right. In this case, it's just going to go right here into that space that we have here. We turn off the showing height. Yeah. My, I still have two pages. Okay, Annie. Give me one second. Okay, and there's my document, okay? So I'm going to click on save and pretty much that's it. Okay. Now, um, there's your newsletter. Okay. From here, if you guys go to file, click on print, preview, a small preview, okay, of what this, how this is going to be looking. Okay, if you want to print that, I mean, just click on print. And and there's your, we're not going to print. Okay, I just go to, to this uh, this option just to see how to print. Okay, uh, normally we don't print this out. Okay, so that's today's exercise. And again, what we use? We use the page layout to change the margins, right? Uh, in this case, we also use the page. Uh, the continuous page break to divide our document into two sections. So we go apply two columns into the second section. Okay. We use our home tab to change the font color. Okay. The text effects to apply it to the title here. Okay. We use the underline. We use the drop cap. Okay. And then we also change the format on the subheadings and we apply a bottom border. After that, we use Format Painter to apply that into the other subheadings. And then we grab the pictures. We look for the pictures online, and we change the settings, right? We use Tight. After that, we use the Format, and we went into the Quick Styles, and we choose, in this case, this is the one that it works, Soft Oval. Okay? And then just to fill the space down here, we brought another small picture, and pretty much we did the same settings, right? We apply the layout options. If we don't see this guy here, go up here into the format, 
under a range, we will see the graph text. And basically, these are the same, same options, OK? In line with text, square, tie, through, top and bottom, behind, et cetera, et cetera. OK? And then we resize the picture to bring it back into one page only. OK? Give me one quick second. Mm -hmm. Another way to get to the page border, if you guys uh, are under the home, Okay, right here we have the borders. If we click into the drop down arrow, the very last option, see, that's the borders and shading. And basically it's gonna bring you also into the borders, okay? But remember we have three categories here. Okay, borders, page border. So under the page border, that's where I'm gonna be doing my changes on page border, okay? And we also have shading. So we are gonna be using those other, other two options also, okay? But that's another way to get there for the page border. Okay, questions? No? Okay.